I hate Wyatt so much today. Why? He's been f***ing crying for no reason. Because he wants attention. Well... A lot of people cry when they want attention. Yeah. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Pleasant ah, trees. Uh, pleasant trees. <laughs> My name is Luxuries, and, and we. That was a strong start. It was a strong start. Oh, something cool happened, you guys. Look, I, I tweeted that I got a new tattoo, and I did. Oh my god, that's so cute. I got a pa it's perfect. <laughs> I got a Patrick in honor of my best friend. Oh my <laughs> Today on Superfruit, we decided that we were going to answer your questions. <laughs> we haven't done a Q&A in a while. We haven't. We did not just do a Q&A because we had no other ideas. No, that's never the case. <laughs> it's such a good little pity <laughs> So guess what? We tweeted this at you guys. No! Jack asked Superfruit. <laughs> and you sent us some really, 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 really mm. amazing questions. We're going to answer them. I think right now. I think right now. I think we're going to get started. Let's do it. Okay. Aaron says, how is life off from tour? It's great. Great. Honestly great. I feel rejuvenated. I feel like I'm one with the earth again. I feel like I'm not eating a ton of stuff for no reason all the time. Yes. <laughs> we are obsessed <laughs> with being off the road. I love touring so much, but right at the end of every tour leg, like, we're like, you can feel exhaustion yeah. in everyone. Carol Greco says, favorite item of clothing you own? Favorite item of clothing? Favorite item of clothing. My favorite item. La, 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 la. Um, oh, well, I just got this. It's called assembly in LA. I don't know, it changes every day for me. I really, Same. really like these pants that I'm wearing. The, uh, they're like kind of weird and like, they're like asymmetrical and like the belt is over here. You're so unconventional. I know, you can't really pin me down. You can't really pin me down. <laughs> uh, Carrie Switch says, what was the last thing that made you cry? Um, I was crying last night, but not because I was sad. I was trying to tell a story. Oh. Like, uh, something you did that was really funny. I watch Intervention every single day, especially when I'm home because it's TiVo. And on Saturday I was really hungover so I laid around all day and I watched like 15 episodes of Intervention <laughs> and they were so sad. Goral says, thoughts on Jurassic World? I liked it, I liked it because I like all the Jurassic Parks. It referenced the first movie a lot and there was like characters that parallel the characters in the first movie and so I liked all those ideas. It just made me want to watch the first one. Right. Can you pronounce my name correctly? Says, Clemaine? Tree Bark. Pedro Rojas says, say something in Spanish. Sana, sana, colita de rana, sina, sana, soy saran, has mañana. <laughs> I, I think I messed it up, but it's like, don't worry, little frog, you're gonna be healed or something. It's what parents say to their children when. Oh, I hurt. thought you were quoting Wicked. No. <laughs> Taylor Bivens says, when are you getting a haircut? I don't know. Whenever I feel like it. How about that? <laughs> Sydney! <laughs> Sydney! Says, uh, what are you doing this year to celebrate the 4th of July? Uh, I'm assuming there's gonna be alcohol involved, maybe some grilled meats. Demi Hoang. Hoang. <laughs> Demi <husband>. Wong? <laughs> <laughs> what is the weirdest thing you've ever eaten and actually enjoyed? Oh my god! We have a story. Yeah, so when we were in the Philippines, we had a delicacy called balut, which is a uh, premature duck fetus. Here's I a guess. picture. And it's cooked. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> it's not raw, you know, they cook it. And uh, we had it at the same time. Had yeah. a few drinks before, so we wouldn't throw up. We did. Um, a few drinks. <laughs> but you know what? It tasted like a hard boiled egg. Yeah, it tastes like a hard boiled egg, but it has a little bit of a body mm -hmm. and a crunch and to it. Crunchiness. And you can <laughs> see the feathers forming. Right. Right. Allie from the Six <laughs> says, Thoughts when people call you daddy. Um, I like it. I, I feel like uh, not... I mean, like, like colloquially. Colloquially. Uh, Pentaholic 2015 says tips for people questioning their gender slash sexuality. You know what? If you're in a safe environment, I say do your thing, go for it, try whatever the hell you want. Yeah. Because it's a free world. It also just takes time. Yeah. As you grow older, you kind of figure out who you are. But be sure to be true to yourself. I feel like people like always convolute who they want to be yeah. versus who they are. Like, don't try to change yourself. You don't want to trick people because they're going to eventually find out who you are. It's like in a relationship. No, you can weird. put on a front for a couple years, but then eventually who you all both are will come out. Play. Just don't stress about it. Yeah. Just go with it. Have fun. Be you. Oh, I see you're going for that. What a weird high five. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tonia. I don't know where the emphasis is. Syllabic-wise. 
Do you eat the ice after your drink is gone? Uh, yeah. Yes. Ooh, you know what's the best is when you have um, those little flat pieces of ice from Chick-fil-A in your iced tea? Yeah, I eat the ice. I always chomp on it. People are like, let's pop your teeth and eat it on with iron. And I'm always like, okay. <laughs> Whatever, you don't have enough iron, right? Yeah, thank you. That's what you gotta say to them. I'm um, going to next okay. time. And now it's time for our weekly obsessions. My weekly obsession is marriage equality. Ah! Oh my god, we didn't even touch on that. Yet. I know. I cannot believe it. We were in a car on our way to a thing and we freaked out. I like, couldn't really believe it. Yeah, same. We were I like, had to read a million articles. All I was 50 like, states? There's... I was waiting for there to be some catch, but I was like, all 50 states, federal law. Holy shit. How weird. <laughs> so cool. Fantastic. So, go America. Yay, marriage. Um, yeah, I mean, I agree with that, you know? Because I don't have one, <laughs> so... Everyone has a good, a good song, do not, not listen to it. My song of the week is another Tori Kelly song. Wait, I know she's been my song of the week 800 times, but this song is so good, it's called Anyway. I've listened to it on repeat all week. It's got this Fuji's vibe, really cool chords, she riffs for her life in it. I feel like that's her song on the album where she just goes for it and she does all this crazy stuff. And it's, but it's very tasteful and musical. Amazing song, such a good vibe. You should definitely check it out. Work. My song of the week is a song called I Heard It On The Radio by The Bird and The Bee. It's a cover of a Hall & Oates song. And I, they're so good. It's, first of all, they're so good. Both Hall & Oates and The Bird and The Bee. Just so musically talented. And this song in particular, when the chorus hits every single time, I get chills because it's so like happy and feel good. You guys should check. Well, thank you for tuning in for another Super Fruit. We love you so much. And you know what? We'll see you next week. <laughs> Goodbye! Hello. I am annoying. <laughs> I knock things over for attention because I can't keep myself occupied. <laughs>